Hey Blockchain Visionaries, it's George Levy. In this video, I'm going to teach you how a part of you can live forever using the power of blockchain. It's a very powerful, powerful technique that I use all the time. And as a result, I've learned how pieces of me can actually remain behind way after I'm gone. Now, mind you, I don't want to get morbid. I don't want you to feel bad. But the truth is we all have an expiration date. And sometimes I ask myself, how could I leave behind part of me that will live on way after I'm gone? And guess what? You can do it through the power of blockchain. And in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to hit subscribe and hit the bell so you keep in touch every single time I bring you brand new videos. I publish every single week videos about blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency. And I teach things about the NFTs. I teach you about Web3. I teach you about the metaverse. There's so many new technologies. So stay up to date by subscribing and hit the bell so I can stay in touch with you and every single week bring you brand new videos like the one I'm going to teach you today where you will learn how you can live forever. In this video, I'm going to dive into one of my biggest obsessions, which is the passage of time and how things remain behind. Now, I've always had a fascination with ancient ruins, like for example, the Sphinx in Egypt, or things like, for example, looking at a great painting by an artist, and we're still talking about it hundreds of years later. Or, for example, you look at an author like William Shakespeare and looking at his work and realizing that William Shakespeare has been gone for a long time, and yet, it's as if he lives with us today. And this whole concept of being able to live above and beyond the years that we've granted on this earth has always been an obsession for me. But when I look at things like the Sphinx, I always say, well, the Sphinx at one moment was truly majestic, but over time, even that erodes and it starts fading away. And I've always thought about it. How could we actually remain timeless and actually become permanent and immutable? And then it clicked into my mind. We're creating permanent and immutable structures every single day through the power of blockchain. And then I started wondering, how could I make parts of myself permanent and immutable? Well, I can do that through the power of blockchain, and I'm going to teach you how can you do the same. Let me give you some examples. Now, the first example I'm going to show you is actually a transaction. Now, this transaction specifically was actually created 1,315 days and 7 hours ago. This was actually on September 2018 as of the time I'm recording this message for you. Now, what you will find is this is a transaction on Ethereum. And in this transaction, inside it, if you look at it, there's really not a very, it's just a whole bunch of jumbled info. But did you know that I actually have a permanent message recorded in there? And I recorded that message in 2018. Now, if you look at that message, if you go through where it says UTF-8, there's a message from me in there. And that's recorded permanently and immutably on the, big, on the Ethereum blockchain, rather. You could do the same in other blockchains, but I'm going to teach you today how to do it on Ethereum, which is a very easy process. I'll teach you the full instructions in this video. But this is just one permanent and immutable version of me on Ethereum in one transaction. Let's go to a different one. Now this one I recorded right before actually coming to this recording with you because I actually felt like, you know what? It's about that time. I'm actually going to record another message on the Ethereum blockchain before I record this video just to teach you how easy it is to do. I did this right before actually recording this for you. I think my cost for it was around $3 to do the whole thing so you could do the same. And this is the gift that keeps on giving. That message will be there for as long as Ethereum lives. and. As it stands, Ethereum should be around even after I'm gone and supposedly into infinity. So I can't give you guarantees, but as long as the Ethereum network is around, that message will be in there written in the blockchain and you can do the same. Now, as I mentioned, if you look inside this transaction, and I'm giving you these links below in the description, you'll find there's some hidden jumble, but inside there is a message, which when you go to UTF-8, you can find the message. We are changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if you use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. George Levy. Now, the best part about it all is that even inside that message, I actually hid a photo. And that photo is actually uploaded into the interplanetary file system. And it's recorded in a decentralized network. And that decentralized network, just basically, it's not controlled by anybody. It's a decentralized network where my photo is up there. And if you go into that photo and you look it up, you will find there's a photo from me. That photo will never grow old. Now, this part of me will get old, but that photo will never get old. So even when I'm gone, those two transactions I just showed you, and that's just a few of the transactions I've recorded on the, on the Ethereum blockchain, are actually going to keep me alive forever, permanent and immutable. And I'm going to teach you exactly how you can do the same. To begin this lecture, I want to actually show you a message I have hidden on the Ethereum blockchain. In fact, it's on this block which you're seeing right now on etherscan.io. At first glance, it doesn't look like there's anything hidden or written in here. 
However, what I want to show you is that when information is captured on the Ethereum blockchain, it's not captured directly as text. It's actually captured as hexadecimal characters. And that's what you see down here. In fact, if I can change the view instead of from default to UTF-8, UTF stands for Unicode Transformation Format, you will see that there is a message in there. I believe we are changing the world one blockchain at a time, and if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. I hid that message in there because it's a very, very special message to me, and I wanted to capture it permanently and immutably. You may have your own messages which you wish to record inside the Ethereum blockchain, and I'll tell you exactly how you can do that right now. What we're going to need in order to be able to do this is to have access to my Ether wallet. The way you access my Ether wallet is to go to https colon slash slash www.myetherwallet.com. There are multiple ways that you can actually access my Ether wallet. You can actually go directly through my Ether wallet or you can use a hardware wallet such as Ledger Nano or you can use Trezor. I will be using MetaMask. I have MetaMask installed on this browser because I use MetaMask a lot whenever I develop smart contracts on Ethereum. MetaMask allows me to activate those um, smart contracts and actually pay the Ether required in order to run those smart contracts. So for this specific example, I'm going to use MetaMask. You're free to use whether you want to use Ledger, Treasure, or any of the other options presented. As we go forward also, one thing you're going to need to know is that you're going to need to convert your text message onto hexadecimal characters. To do so, you can go directly to this link that I am presenting right now for you. And you'll see a string to hex converter, text to hex. Now, here's what's interesting. If you write any message, hi, I am happy, you can convert that into hexadecimal characters on the bottom. For this specific video, I want to actually record another very special message to me, which is my mission. And what I will do is I will actually paste that onto the converter and I even have included a link to a graphic which if you want to see I encourage you to go see the transaction and view the graphic I embedded. I can convert this now into hexadecimal characters. This hexadecimal character combination that I have here, this string, will be what I will include in that transaction and I'll show you exactly how you can do that. You will go back to my Ether wallet and now I will go to MetaMask to log in. Because I have already MetaMask inside my browser, I can actually use it to power this transaction. First thing I'm going to need to do is add the data from this hexadecimal characters that I received. And I will embed it inside this place that says data. Now, another thing that I'm going to need is I will need an Ethereum address which I can send the transaction to. Because what I am really doing is creating a new transaction and embedding a message. So I have an Ethereum address which I'm going to send to. And the amount I'm going to send is zero. I do not really want to send Ether. I just want to create the transaction. And that's important for you to know. In order for me to create a transaction, I don't necessarily need to send Ether to it. What I do need to do, though, is pay the Ether required, or gas, in order to run that transaction. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I will generate the transaction now. And my Ether wallet will give me the information of the raw transaction and the signed transaction. And when I click on Send Transaction, it will ask me if I actually want to do this. It will then give me the details of what exactly I am doing. And from here, I will be doing the transaction. And MetaMask will then activate for me to be able to pay for this. It is now telling me that the cost of the gas for me to be able to run this transaction on the Ethereum virtual machine, that is, to be able to embed this block onto the blockchain, will cost me 47 cents. What I'm saying here is that when I create this transaction, that transaction will be added onto a block by a miner, and that miner will eventually add that block onto the Ethereum blockchain. When that happens, my transaction will be visible for everybody else to see around the world. So let me create that transaction by confirming this. Right now, what I have done is I have paid the required Ether to be able to add that transaction on to a block that eventually makes it onto the Ethereum blockchain. And now what I am waiting is for the miners to create a new block where my transaction will be included. Whenever you run anything on Ethereum, it's not instant. You have to wait until a new block gets mined in order for your transactions and whichever modifications you've made onto the blockchain gets added onto the blockchain. So right now, let's see if this transaction actually has been mined. So I'm going to check the transaction status. And as I'm going through, 
it says a transaction has been found, it was successfully mined, and is on the blockchain. So what we will do now is let's go to that block and see, actually let's go to that transaction hash, which is actually a transaction that has been added onto a block, and we'll be able to see it on a block explorer. Here it is. We have this transaction, which we just created, which was just added 48 seconds ago. Right now there are two block confirmations. What that means is that our transaction was in block 6270297, but since then another block has been added. That's why we have two block confirmations. One block and then the next block was already added. If I actually refresh that page, I will see that there are even more blocks added because as new blocks get added, more confirmations are made to your transaction. But let's see exactly what we created. We see that the input data down here is illegible because we don't read hexadecimal characters. So let's change the input to Unicode text format. And we see that our message is inside. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.